Okay, so we're back here with another evening, day, whatever you want to call it, of dev videos. Uh, so I just recently started working on updating some of the single block mods. Um, the first one I hit up here was wooden shears. Now, yes, it's already been updated to 110, but I went ahead and added metadata values to it just to kind of toy with how the code works. Um, let me actually pop over to the correct page. I'm sitting here staring at the item of the 1710. We actually do still need to do some work on the 1710 version real quick because the metadata items they were not completed and by the way when i mean metadata we don't actually use metadata to describe the item types they're actually uh, encoded via mbt we actually can pop over here we use a byte to store uh, mbt here now i'm probably going to end up translating that from a byte to something else because that only gives us 255 different possibilities which should hold us over for quite a while but we'll probably up it to a shorter a uh, integer here later as I do plan to support a lot of different wood types. Uh, same goes for uh, wooden buckets mod and a few other things. Uh, so speaking of wooden buckets mod, that one's going to be really interesting to actually get functional. As uh, the way you register different materials is a little confusing. Um, in order to get it to work here in 110, I had to implement a custom mesh definition. And then I still, even after implementing that, you still have to sit here and register your item variants, which doesn't make any sense to me. It's a lot, a little bit of a backwards way to handle this, but I'm sure many developers have complained about this already. Uh, I kind of like the old system personally, because all you had to do is register your icon. The system before that was even easier. All you had to do is return your name of your texture. You didn't even have to re return an icon. Uh, so each iteration of Minecraft seems to be making this process a little harder rather than easier. But then again, after all, the process is designed for Mojang developers to do this stuff and not for us to do this. Anyways, let's go ahead and boot this up and I can show what I've been working on here. Now, it's nothing special. It's nothing remarkable. Uh, the reason I'm working on this is this kind of gives me a chance to prototype a lot of the code we're going to need in order to update mods like ICBM and newer versions. Uh, this lets me sit here and look at changes. For example, I now know there's a thing called a mesh definition you can customize and you can do various things. Uh, when it comes to... Um, uh, Volt Engine, we're probably going to have to go with something even more complicated than the item mesh definition. Because this is cool, this gives us a model resource location, but um, a lot of the way the Volt Engine items work, we have our own JSON system. So I've got to find a way to make the JSON system work, which means I'm probably going to have to come up with my own model altogether. Because right now we have a model resource location, which then tells uh, the game where our model file is, which we then we also have a ton of models. Look, this is we have to have one per system. I don't really like this. I know there is a way around this, but I did, haven't found it yet. I know it does exist where I can make these all one file, but that still doesn't really change anything. Like you get this whole file for just this one line. It feels backwards to me, but I know this gives uh, a uh, gives mod pack makers and resource pack makers a lot of customization and control over everything. So it is kind of cool, but. Uh, Getting it to work with Voltage is going to be a pain. Uh, this is something I've already went through with trying to update to 1.8 before. Is I've, I've tried to update three times now to 1.8 with Volt Engine. Each time we've run into issues where the code just doesn't want to convert cleanly. Uh, anyways, um, go down to the Tools tab. So yeah, we got each different type. Now these are crafted out of their respective plank materials. Uh, I don't have JEI installed so we can't look at the recipes, but... Uh, I can, I actually do have the items of inventory, so we can just go ahead and do that. Uh, it'll take any sapling as the middle here. It takes any sticks for this, but depending on what type of wood it is, it'll create a different one. So this is jungle here, and this is birch. So it works really, really well, and you can craft it. And pretty weak item too, which is what it's designed for, but I mean, it, it's pretty good. So this is a really good prototype mod for us to test MBT icons. But the problem is I have to figure out a way to get around this, because I don't really like how this is functioning. And it's a mess, in my opinion, because it's going to make utilizing our JSON system a little difficult. Now, I, one of the things I have been thinking about doing is just backporting this system, the 1.7, and then just using it for all my stuff. But this doesn't really feel clean either, because what you're doing is going like, hey, I'm an item. And then you're going, OK, here's my texture. And it's like, eh, that doesn't really get you very far. Where then you go over to my system and you go, okay, here's what my item is, here's how I want it to render, here's all my texture usage, different variations. Uh, like this, I don't even know how to control uh, different visuals from held versus inventory. Right now, the only thing I know is you've got a texture that has a layer of zero of this, which 
I guess I'm complaining about nothing because I know there are ways to get around this. It's just it's lack of experience. Uh, speaking of which, um, I'm probably going to start live streaming me slowly go through this process of uh, working on this. So over the next uh, few days, uh, I will be streaming. I will, of course, take the stream file and I will upload it to YouTube when I'm done. Actually, I might just check to see if I can do YouTube streaming system. I doubt I'll end up doing YouTube's because there's a, thing, a bit of authentication with it. And I've already got a Mixer account set up, so I think I'm just going to use Mixer. Um, so we'll probably do it that way. That's pretty much it right now. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the 1710 version. And let's go ahead and finish this off real quick so I can make sure the 1710 version has the same exact features as the 110 version. After all, I have noted, I do plan that anytime I add content to any of the SMB mods on any version, I am going to backport or forward port content as needed. That way all the versions are pretty consistent with each other. Uh, so we got our get types, set types, get localization. We need uh, subtypes. So let's pop over and borrow the subtype thing out of uh, the item here. Now a lot of this code is forward and backwards compatible, I've noticed. Um, so like the get types, the get max damage, a lot of this stuff works really, really well. There are some new things here, like I, we have a resource location that you have to register your item with. Um, I think I can change this. I don't think I need this to be registered here. Uh, I think you only need this to declare the name of the item because it's the same thing where you've got uh, the domain and then you've got the ID which is registered with it. It seems to work just fine. Uh, but uh, when Kalatra reported this, because after all this is the first time I've been working on 110 code, uh, Kalatra was the one who originally updated wooden shares for us. Uh, he did it for a uh, mod pack to work on, but uh, he had this as a constructor on this part and it was not being used or anything and I decided to go ahead and store it in here because I think it's used. But we may come back and toy with that here in a second. Let's uh, go back to uh, our wooden shear mod over here. Let me close a few things too while I'm at it. And yeah, let's just toss this down here. Okay, so I believe this is just called list. Yep, there we go. Uh, so it looks like some of the newer versions have really fixed a lot of these generics and stuff, which I, I'm really happy about because one of my biggest complaints when developing for mods is that a lot of the Minecraft code doesn't have generics applied to their list and stuff, and it's a little confusing on what's supposed to be in there. And it's a little hard to reverse engineer it to make sure you're giving the correct code. Uh, but this should give us our subtypes. Uh, additionally, we need to do recipes. Um, let's pop back here. And let's copy our registry recipe method. And uh, there's a few other things I need to copy. I actually need to copy this whole top half. This is a problem with forward porting and back porting stuff is that I've got to like sit here and copy and paste back and forth. It's a lot easier if we made content on one version and only had a forward port it, but uh, there's a lot more you got to do. Actually, let's not copy that whole well, I know I do we need to copy the whole thing. I just need to make sure I get rid of this piece. And then I need to cut these two and put them down here. I got rid of the enabled part. Um, additionally, is this not even a block? So now we run into a new issue here, is that there's an enum value system for planks that doesn't actually exist. Uh, so let's see if I can find this. I'm just going to go ahead and type in block here. And our software, yeah, the recording software is running. I just had to think about that for a second if I actually made it run. And let's see if we can find plank. So block one, it's called block wood, so the name completely changed. And... Uh, there is no enum in here, so we're just going to have to do this. Okay, we already have the block planks here. Uh, so the only thing we really need to do is just kind of convert it. So that's, uh, on, let me put that a different page. I'm going to throw it on my other screen, just kind of understand that I'm copying values off of it. Uh, so oak is zero, spruce is one. These are not in any particular order. Um, I can't change the order on these, by the way, too. So whatever order they're in, they're stuck that way. So zero. Okay, let's do. Let's just go through the Mojang's list here. So birch will be two. Jungle wood would be three. The weird thing is, I copied this list, I believe, from the wood logs. I think the wood log uses a different list than everything else does. So zero, one, two, three would be jungle wood. Arcana is four. Or R R K R I can't pronounce that. Nobody tried to correct me on it too, because it wouldn't matter because I'm just gonna pronounce it wrong the next time too. 
Uh, and of course, Chard doesn't have one, but uh, that's okay. So what, what I'm doing here, by the way, is I'm starting to catalog different planks. And what I'm actually probably do is go talk to Reka, because Reka already has a complete list of everybody's logs and planks and everything. That guy's got some pretty good dedication when it comes to what he does. Anyway, so let's pop back over to this. I can go ahead and close that page. Um, and we want the recipe. The reason we want the recipe is that this makes it real easy to uh, register what we're doing. Let me put this down here. And of course, I don't know why that's block planks. Block, get block. Uh, let's go fix that on the other thing too. For some reason, that must have just been a typo. Uh, after I was doing this at like three in the morning, it happens. Um, let's go here. This needs to be set to item shear. And of course, we need to import game registry and blocks sapling. I think it's his item dot sapling. Or maybe it's block dot tree. No, bush. Or it's dead bush. What is the sapling called? Maybe it's just called sapling, it's just lowercase. Next line that too while I'm at it. Do that over here as well. Everything looks good. We got ore dictionary. I probably ore dictionary or the saplings too. I just gotta get around to doing it. Um, I gotta check to see if there is one. Actually, we can do that really quickly. Uh, we just need to go or dictionary, and we'll see if there is a sapling here. Sapling. It's called tree sapling. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, or dictionary that while we're at it as well, because that will uh, add more support for more mods, which is what we we want to maximize support for mods. Uh, especially with this being in a very large mod pack, I'm pretty sure the mo the mod pack creators would love to just have some really nice, elegant recipe handling. Um, which one were you looking at? Yeah, we're looking at the windstone temp version. Uh, next thing we need to do is come back over here, and we want to grab wooden shears again, and we want to copy the ore dictionary supported recipes. Now these ones aren't exactly tested well, but uh, I did run this mod through both the server and client versions, so it should not uh, have any major problems with it. I did actually test most of the recipes too. I just didn't test... Uh, a lot of the or dictionary stuff. So like right here, this is a uh, complete or dictionary list set. And uh, let's go ahead and fix that. This means I need to go fix this on the other one too. This, <laughs> the sad part about doing this, by the way, is I'm essentially writing two mods at the same time. Um, everything looks good. This mod is uh, almost uh, two years old now. That's how old this mod is. I wrote this uh, this mod basically while I was waiting for my brother to get out of physical therapy. This is uh, where I always laugh at this mod that I have almost a million dollars for it. Is that this was just made out of pure boredom. It was not something I really cared to make. It was not something I thought the community even really wanted to use. I made it simply because it was something I could develop on the crummy laptop I had brought with me to my brother's therapy sessions. And I could actually launch Minecraft with it and run it and work on it, and it wasn't too difficult. It was mods I could prototype. It's where a lot of the single blocks mods came from, too, is that these were mods I could prototype quickly in the short hour time span that I was stuck sitting in an office building with nothing better to do. Um, anyways, uh, this is pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, debug. I think we're going to have to launch Minecraft Client 2. And we'll make sure that works. Uh, we're not going to test this guy because this guy is pretty good. I'm actually just going to go ahead and synchronize uh, my changes to. Uh, so go ahead, wind shears. Small adjustments added handling for or dictionary saplings. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get the 111. Uh, actually, hold on, why is it? Says there's a there's a push on the remote. Oh, it looks like I had to merge with somebody. Is that Dmod? Yeah, it's Dmod. I don't know what's with Dmod's uh, icon, but I knew he I knew he has one, but for some reason it doesn't show up in this application. Mine does, so I've got my little creeper guy, which shows up pretty well. But Dmod's for some reason stopped showing up. Um, a few other people uh, actually know Colossus is working. 
So you got Tyler's here, which is working. And there's D-Mod's old one. Ah, it's a different username. So he's got D-Cyrus now. Does he have two GitHub accounts now? I don't think he does, because that would mean he would have to be authorized twice. I think he just changed his username, and it's not matching up with his icon locally anymore. Um, I don't know how to fix that. I'll have to look into it. But anyways, we got that pushed up. Uh, we're going to want to go find the wooden shears for this, which I have to go actually do this one. So where I talk about it, I have a lot of mods. I only got like I only got a quarter of my mods actually downloaded on my computer. Um, actually, we need to ignore this. Ignore. Wooden shear file. Ignore. And then, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty good. So we'll go ahead and get this tested. As soon as we get this tested, we'll commit this up. I'll do a new version for 1710. Uh, the plan is to also do 1819, uh, 11, and 12. I want to hit every version, every major version. I'm not going to hit every single version because... I know some of the versions aren't functional very well, like a lot of the 1A versions, even though there's tons of them. There's only like, I think, two versions that are even any good. I know 1.8 altogether is mainly avoided, but uh, they, these are the type of mods that are great for just going ahead and updating. Uh, when we do the 1.8, 1.9, uh, we're just going to take the 1.10 version and port it backwards because there probably will be no code changes for it at all. Uh, except for maybe some texture tweaks. I'm told that 1.8, 1.9, the textures did change a little bit. Other than that, I don't really know much about. I'm pretty much guessing. Uh, in order to get uh, the 110 here to work with the MBT thing, I had to go find a post on the Minecraft Forge form. It's one of the few times I could say that form is useful. Although I have to admit that post was strange. They were using spoiler and code tags for single line words. And it didn't make any sense. You're probably better off highlighting or bolding or changing the color of those words. Because it just made the whole post hard to read. I got lucky, though, as I found just enough that hinted me towards the right direction, and then the rest of it was guesswork. Um, for example, I had to figure out that you needed individual ones of these to work, and then I had to figure out with the custom definition uh, that you needed to provide a name here. So what I was trying to do is I was trying to change this one back here, which is I think you can still do, but then you have to do a little bit more inside of your text files and I wanted to simplify these text files as much as possible. I'm probably going to make these auto-generated for Volts Engine if I have to make them. What will happen is we'll do a baking system if I need to that'll just bake these all off for me. And what I mean by baking is it just makes the files. Uh, so let's go ahead and load this up and uh, guarantee or check to see if all our stuff is here. Additionally, by the way, when working the 110 version, uh, IntelliJ screwed me over a couple times by renaming some stuff it wasn't supposed to. It has a tendency to like to rename comments and uh, text in line when you go to do stuff. Uh, there we go. We got all our types. They're all named properly. Do I have any I installed? I do not have any I installed. I actually need to get that fixed because uh, it's a bit of a pain. This is one of my older test ones, too. Huh. Um, yeah, we'll just have to manually test the recipes then. So let's get some sticks. Then we want some saplings, which I'm going to guess are probably this tab. And then we want some planks, which are going to be the first step. So let's grab some oak, spruce, and then dark oak. We're not going to grab everything, as I don't need to test every single recipe. <laughs> Even back in the old days, I never really tested all the recipes. I still probably won't. Yeah, that works. Now, I need to test some modded recipes, too, while I'm at it, but uh, I don't have any mods with wood in here, I don't think. Actually, you know what? Let's check. Because you know what? I think I have IC2, and I think IC2 has its own locks. Um, it has rubber wood, but is there rubber wood planks? No. Okay, so that mod's not going to work. Uh, military base decor doesn't have any. Open computers won't have any. Modular force field, maybe not. Tinkers, 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 tinkers. Do you have any? You're the kind of mod that would have weird things. No, you don't have any of your own planks. Bummer. But Tanya might. Yeah, here we go. We got shimwood planks. Now, if this doesn't work, this is most likely because he doesn't have his registered as uh, as a plank. There's some more planks. Actually, he's a search mod. Let's use this. Oh, he's got like quite a wood, living wood planks, mossy living wood planks. These are actually kind of nice looking blocks too. I, I give the uh, author uh, some credit for this mod. It is a nice mod. 
really, really cool looking uh, items. Especially since they animate a little bit, they change colors. That's something you don't normally see. Anyways, go ahead and try these out and see if this will work in the recipe. No, not working. This is definitely where I would like to have any eye installed so I can figure out what's up with these. I'm going to say these aren't registered as planks or dictionary wise. Now, I could fix this. This is something that's real easy to fix. And it would be kind of cool to make uh, compatibility for Batania, but I think if I ever did that, then these are going to have to be like magically enchanted uh, clipper things. But we'll get that to another day. Compatibility between mods is something I've been not going to focus on for a while. Anyway, so that's it for that one. We just go ahead and synchronize that. Um, added wood types. And now we need to figure out... Uh, oh, wait, we need to pull... Did he actually commit to the master branch too? He did. Updated curse, gradle version. Okay. Okay, so next step, uh, we need to figure out how we're going to make uh, the next version work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this off to this window. I'm going to close this guy. And uh, I want to close Volts Engine down because we're not going to work on any of the Volts Engine stuff anytime soon. Uh, the only thing we'll probably go do is we'll probably finish off some of the unfinished symbol block mods. For example, wooden rails need to be finished. I did let somebody update it to a newer version. I probably shouldn't have because the version we had was not done. I needed to finish a lot of the carts and get it put, it put out there. I apologize for not having that done already, but eh, you get distracted when you do modding. It happens. Uh, so we got this one, this project workspace now. I'm going to have to close this one down because there's nothing we can do with this. Uh, I may add more mods to this one, so rather than building a workspace per mod, I'm just going to go ahead and probably just add them all to that one. That way I can work on them all together. Or I may just do a workspace per each. It doesn't really matter. But what I do need to do um, is clone down the 110 version into each one of these folders. Oh, I'm in multi-MC. I'm like, what, what am I doing here? That explains why I'm confused. Wrong folders. It happens. So I want this folder chain, like, and then we want to clone mods down in here. Now when we clone things, uh, let's bring this back over here. We literally can hit clone, github.com, and I just have to find what I'm looking for. Now this is an example of where I really do need to uh, split all the single blocks mods off into their own repository. Because we just have too many repositories. I think we're up 100 on the main, and then I've got a lot of my private. So here's wooden shears. Now, I want to change the branch. Now, I definitely want to change where I'm going to clone you to. So we're going to clone you to 1.8. And then what I'll do is I'll go ahead and clone this, and then I'll branch it, and then I'll just copy and paste it into the other folders. Because that'll be probably the quickest and easiest way to do this, rather than reclone it each and every time. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'm going to definitely have to change the branch. Would you like to initialize submodules? Yes. Successfully cloned. Open now. It's kind of cool. Um, we want to change to this guy. That's pretty easy to change. I actually really like this software. It's really nice. Uh, let's pull just to make sure we're everyth everything set up. And let's do fetch all while we're at it. Yeah, that just detected them. Oh, we got a 1.9 remote. Oh, it's a not a 1.9 remote. Okay. Um, we'll probably delete that 1.9.4 branch and we'll probably remake it. Because, as you can clearly see, that's sitting on the master and I just did uh, two ports to the master here. So you got textures. Ah, oh, man, I've had those textures for eight months. That tells you how long I've been. I could have implemented uh, wood types, as they've been sitting there for eight months. I'd be honest. That's probably why Morn's a little upset with me sometimes. Is he'll hand me textures, and it does take me a while to implement some of them. Um. Hmm. Yeah, we're good. So you got the single one ten. Now what we want to go ahead and do is we want a branch. Create branch here. And this is going to be our 1.8 branch. Actually, uh, what is the latest version like? Uh, yeah, we're just going to call it 1.8. I don't need to be fancy. 
So we're we're good. We're on that branch now. Uh, let's go ahead and push. Submit. So we'll create a one eight branch, and then I'm just going to literally copy and paste this to the one nine. And we're going to need to make folders for the rest of them. Sadly, is like one eleven and one twelve haven't been out that long. I mean, one twelve just came out like what last week, and I'm already sitting here having to update towards them. Good thing is I'll have this updated for all versions, and this will be a good prototype, and then we'll hit up with some of the more complicated mods. Uh, we'll probably do Wooden Beckett's it will be the next one. Uh, if that proves to be challenging, Baggable Plants is a really good option because it's uh, just an MBT item and its texture does not change. It just stores things via MBT. I don't think MBT storage has changed whatsoever. But we got a, we got a version here for all of them. Um, and we just kind of want to go click here, add a project group. Do we have 110 in the project group? Yeah, we do. Okay, so we just want to do the 111. Add another project group. I don't really like how this project group system works in Kraken, but it, it's functional, so I'm not going to complain. Uh, I was using Source Tree previous to this, and Source Tree worked really well, but its folder structures were crap. They did function, but they were a little finicky. But the reason I ended up abandoning it is it corrupted half my repositories when I lost power. And it made me really question what that software was doing, that it was accessing... I think it was like 62 repositories when it crashed. So it was writing to 62 repositories in such a way that it corrupted them. And these weren't just stored on one hard drive. So I thought maybe it was just the hard drive went bad. These 62 repositories were scattered across five different drives. So I don't know what was going on, but you corrupted that many files in a short period of time due to a single power failure. Now, you get things like Word, Adobe, and stuff like that, they don't have that problem because they're only usually editing one or two files at a time, not trying to work on tons of files. This could be something like they're leaving streams open, or I don't know what they're doing, but a lot of uh, that company's software are finicky. IntelliJ is made by the same people who make Source Tree, by the way, and IntelliJ can be finicky as well. And it kind of just shows a little bit of their dev stuff, but uh, then again, I don't know what's going on, so... Eh. Uh, let's... Let's go ahead, so we want to do the one nine branch here. We want to pop this guy open. And let's go ahead and just hit uh, create new branch. Yeah, so we'll go create just create branch, we'll just do one nine. Then hit push, and then hit submit. So we'll go ahead and initialize everything. This way Dmod can clone everything down here later, and if I can't get these to work right now, which I don't think I'm going to get them to work, so we're just probably going to pull another mod forward to 110 and start working on it until uh, dmod can catch up with what I'm doing. Um, uh, let's see, what else do we want to do? Yeah, we just want to pop over. So we got the 110, we now have 19, let's go hit 18. Or did we already do 18? Yes, we already did 18. So 18, 19, 110, 11's our next one. So we're going to hit new repository on this one. Or I mean new branch. So this will be 1.11. So we got another one there. Hit push, submit. And the sad thing is, I got to do this for another 20 mods that are just part of the single block series. I'm not even going to touch the big mods for a while, unless you guys hit that Patreon goal. Then I'm kind of forced by hand to do that. But uh, you guys haven't made it close to that one yet. And if you do, I'd be happy, and I will definitely update all the mods. But uh, yeah. So we'll go ahead and continue on this, and uh, let's see if we can figure out how to make it function. So let's try 1.8. I think all I have to do is change change a version number. There's a version number in here somewhere that declares what uh, what uh, what version of uh, Minecraft we're using. And it's probably this right here. So let's click this guy and see if I can figure out where the rest of the scripts are. Come on, open up. There you go. So Demon has a set of scripts for each version. So let's go ahead and pop out here and see if we can... Oh, I can't do that. Okay, we're going to have to go to the repository here and do this manually. And this is the part where you're probably going to watch me fail at doing this. This is the reason I let Demon do all this stuff. He's uh, I wouldn't call him an expert in Gradle, but he's definitely more advanced than I am at it and it, it, to be honest all he probably needs is a couple decent classes on Gradle and he would be an expert because the only thing he's missing is some of the really basic things that you would expect him to know but he doesn't and it just it's la to the fact he's just taught himself 
you got to give him credit, though. He's learned something that's pretty complicated, in my opinion. Uh, so let's try scripts, uh, forge. I think we want 189. And what are we looking for? So we're looking for 189 index index gradle. So I think all we gotta do is just change this to 189. Uh, what else do we gotta like toy with in here? I, I don't see, I don't see anything else. We've, we've got these scripts down pretty good. We're actually been talking to each other about figuring out a way we can completely get rid of the Gradle scripts because these are duplicates of each other. Every time you go into a new single blocks mod, these scripts look identical. And we've been trying to figure out how can we get rid of the Gradle scripts in each mod repository and then just have a property file that then tells a unique script that's put on our build servers exclusively how do you put stuff together. Of course, this would mean it would be a little hard for you guys to... Uh, do things. Alternatively, what we could also do is just have an empty build script here that just refers to uh, apply from, and then the apply from is a full build script. Uh, that's another option we've been looking at. Um, figuring that out, though. Anyways, so we got this, and it looks like the only thing this script really does is just a whole bunch of apply froms. So get that running, and we just want to pop back to 1.8 and go in here, and we want to hit dev and hit Y for yes. Now, this can set up an Eclipse workspace, but I don't use Eclipse anymore, so I can't tell you if it works, and this is the same thing I tell everybody else. If you guys want to use the Eclipse workspace, it, you're on your own on trying to figure out how to get it to work. Uh, Dmod can try to help you, and he has tried to help a few people, but the Eclipse scripts have shown they don't like to function properly. Uh, the IntelliJ ones like to glitch out every so often too, so if you ever have a problem running the IntelliJ ones, just rerun it up to three times. If it doesn't work after the third try, then come find Dmod. Don't find me because I ain't going to be able to help you either. Uh, Dmod is definitely going to be the one that's going to help you because, to be honest, the only thing I do is I run the scripts and if they break, I go to Dmod as well. So if you come to me for help, I'm just going to go to Dmod. Uh, I got a nice can of monster here. I really should stop buying these. But I saw this one on sale, so I was like, yes, have to have. I also kind of reused the cans too from these, so it's not like I'm wasting money. I'm actually thinking about taking a whole bunch of these and building a heat exchanger out of them where you run uh, tubes through them to uh, take heat from one place and transfer it to the other. So the ideal is I want to transfer heat from inside of my computer casing to outside my house and then run it back and forth and just expel energy that way. Uh, monster cans have a good metallic surface area. They're made of aluminum. Aluminum capacitates heat really, really well and gives heat off really, really well. Um, and then on top of that, you would do something like fill it with water. Water has a really high heat capacity to it. It's a reason it takes so much energy to heat water up. Uh, and that would result in a really good heat sink, basically. And if you run Tube Street, it, it turns into a heat exchanger. So what you're doing is you're pulling heat from one place and putting it in another. Although I feel like I'm going to have maybe a little bit of issue with that. Uh, I may want to start using a compressible gas because I think when you compress and decompress, uh, you release energy better that way as well, but I'm going to probably have to do some engineering on that one. I do have enough of an understanding of pneumatics and hydraulics to pull it off, though. Plus, I have I have two really nice books over here written by this amazing engineer. Uh, when I took his class, he gave us his book for free. That's how you know how good of a guy he was. Is He's one of the only professors I've ever met who has given his book away from free. He literally went into the photocopy room and copied every page of the book, and he gave it out to each individual student with a binder. And it was not part of our price at all. He just did it for free. The guy was a genius, too. Didn't have a PhD in anything. He only had master's degrees. But he knew, like, a little bit of everything. He knew how to do radar, electronics, electricity, hydraulics, pneumatics, uh, nuclear physics. I learned a lot from that guy. Makes me sad I never became an engineer either because he wanted me to be one. But uh never really did enjoy engineering. I enjoyed the idea of tinkering with things. I enjoyed the idea of designing things. Uh, this build process is going to take a while, so more yapping. But yeah, enjoyed tinkering, enjoyed designing, enjoyed theoretical stuff, but I never enjoyed sitting there and doing the math. One of the biggest things I ran into with doing engineering, especially with physics, uh, when I was learning engineering, is you did math after math after math after math after math, and you would end up with like a few hundred pages to describe how to do something simple. 
So for example, um, we did this physics experiment of uh, calculating if we could get an item to bounce around the room and stuff. It took me 123 pages to do that. It included all the math, all the explanations of the physics, uh, all the different probabilities, different vectors for what would happen if it hit this and the friction was a little higher or a little lower. A lot of different, all kinds of stuff. I actually wrote a lot of thesis papers in that class too. I think I actually have two of them that are actually published. I never did check. My professor said she would submit them, but I don't know if that ever happened. I really wasn't keen on it because at that time I didn't care about much of anything. That was still right before I actually got into modding really heavily. And then the only thing I was doing was consulting for CalClavi on how to do electronics and was barely getting an hour of sleep a day. I actually kind of miss those days just because of the fact I could somehow pull off an hour of sleep a day and did not have health effects from it. But then again, that was a couple months before I had a, a micro heart attack, so I guess I did have a health effect from that. Moral of that story, by the way, is get sleep. You can actually ask a lot of famous developers too. Notch in particular actually has t tweeted out a few times about that, of where one of the biggest things he suggests people do if they want to be a software developer is sleep regularly, eat regularly, exercise. Those three things actually will severely help you and prevent you from actually failing. Um, nothing in the log file. Actually, that log file is really empty. Did it build properly? Well, we're going to find out. The only thing I like to know a lot with these build uh, systems is we do usually have a problem with some of the scripts where they have issues uh, finding the forge bin, but it is a really easy thing to fix. And this is most likely going to break on this one as well, because I think the 1.8 scripts are a little finicky. Also, we do have Lombok in here, although we don't use it. So I don't know why I've really got it installed. I think I was trying to toy with figuring out how to do Lombok processors, and I couldn't get it to work. Ah, oh, man, I hate... I hate when it tries to import Gradle projects. There's quite a few people that actually do do their projects through Gradle, but I don't like the idea of um, the dependencies updating. I like a lot of my stuff to stay stagnant, unchanging. We don't have any errors. Rebuild project. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, so it failed to uh, it failed to do exactly what I said it was going to do. So uh, the way to do that is you can hit project structure. By the way, you can also hit project structure up here. And you want to go down to modulars. And yep, right there is the forge bin and it failed to float. Now this is a real easy fix to do. You just hit plus. Uh, you want jar directory. And then we're going to have to go manually find this as well. Actually, I don't want to close this folder because I'm going to open this up a couple minutes later. Uh, I don't have it bookmarked. So we'll go to my user folder. That would be the quickest way to get it. Now you want to go to your Gradle folder, caches, Minecraft, Net, Minecraft Forge, Forge, and then you want to grab your 1.8. You want to try to grab the latest version as well. You want to go in here, and I believe Snapshots, you want the latest Snapshot that you can get your hands on. Uh, keep in mind that if you do change the Snapshots, it will actually change the code. And then you want uh, the Forge source, I think, and then you want the, the sources. I think these are good. You don't want the bin because the bin is uh, not... Um, it still has uh, MCP names on it, so it's not usable. But we want those two. Uh, actually, we're going to have to do it this way. <laughs> I'm sitting there selecting them, and I actually have to get, get down here first, and then I have to select them down here. So you want this guy, and you want this guy. The reason you want to grab the source as well is that way then uh, um, IntelliJ doesn't have to decompile for you to look at anything, which is really helpful because that's how you get the Java docs. That's how you get all the stuff that comes with them. Uh, in my 1.7.10, you'll notice I don't have that fixed properly. Okay, so maybe this is still the old way. So we're going to have to change things. We're probably going to have to change quite a few things. So we got register, probably register item. Yeah, and this is still the old way too. So this is more akin to 1710 code than it is anything else. So uh, resource location, and then what we want is pretty much this. And I think it will go ahead and prefix the mod name for us so we don't have to do anything else. So we'll do that. And then I can get rid of this. And I believe this is probably just lowercase. No, it's just tab tools. Uh, this is probably lowercase as well. Uh, we don't have a model baker. Are we still using the icons in the old version? Let's 
Let's get rid of the import. Maybe it still exists, just not a different package. Yeah, it's a different package. Okay. Inferred type T is not within bounds. Should extend resource location. Um, T names T resource location. Default model resource location. Default model resource location. Oh yeah, we got problems. Just import issues, really. A uh, reason I got rid of that, by the way, is you can do get register name, which will replace it for that. Then we just need to go here and then fix the imports in here. I think it's all we really got to do to get this to work. This is just some import changes. Hit build, rebuild project. You always want to rebuild the project if you clear out a whole bunch of errors because sometimes IntelliJ doesn't like to do things. This is the same thing. Eclipse has the same exact problem as well. Um, although IntelliJ does use some Eclipse code, so it's kind of obvious why that they would have similar problems. Um, hit run, click this guy, and you just got to fix this. Hit apply. So far, I haven't failed at doing this stuff, so we're doing okay. It's not as hard as I thought it would be. One of the big things I've been always like delaying on updating the single blocks mod is I was always afraid of the ideal that it would take me a long time to get everything updated. Well, this is going pretty quick. So we should have uh, at least half of these updated uh, by the end of the month. I want to say the end of the week, but that's, that's going to be really ambitious to get the end of the week. I got two midterms this week. Um, so we're probably only going to do like three, maybe four mods this week. The next week we'll hammer down a little harder. But we'll see how that kind of works because there is a problem with trying to go a little too quick and hard on updating. Especially when I've got uh, other things to do. I've got a class assignment that I probably need to spend a lot longer working on. Because I'm noticing my teammates um, don't have as much Java knowledge as I do. Which means I need to pick up the slack for them until they can get comfortable with doing what they want to do. Um, okay, that's trying to grab from the block state folder. So it looks like we need to toss these in the block state. So if we load this in, this is either going to crash or just not work. I'm going to say it's a ladder, it's just not going to work, and it's, but it's not going to crash us. So we'll get just uh, missing icons, maybe. But that's the best case scenario, actually. May have to do a little bit of research, too, while we're at it, to see if uh, this is the appropriate way to do everything. Okay, so tools. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're blocks. Ah. Uh. So yeah, they're not working. Uh, the localization names are working, and I'm going to say the recipes still work because, well, recipes haven't changed forever. Uh, when we hit 112 is when we're going to probably have to worry about recipe problems. Uh, I've been hearing a lot of developers um, have issues with especially custom implemented recipes. Good thing is we don't have custom recipes, so we don't have to worry about it ourselves, at least in this mod. Yeah, this works just fine. Okay. Did that consume both, or did it consume only one? Okay, it can see both. I don't know why it didn't. And yeah, those guys don't stack. I probably should allow them to stack. Maybe up to three. Actually, no, I'm not going to let them stack because I, I, there's an issue with uh, stacking. Okay, so we need to move these to block states. So there needs to be a folder in here. And um, uh, I wish IntelliJ didn't do this, but there's a way to get to that. Fix that. So if we go to source, resources, ah, oh, it's still doing the collapsed view. How do you, I know there's a way to get rid of the collapsed view. No, that's not it. One of these icons will do this. Show excluded folder, doc, pen, resized, hide empty middle packages. That's what we want to fix. That way we can just hit on this one real quick and we can rename this. Uh, does it actually look for items? Uh, no, so we're going to want to toss this up even one package. So doing what I just did didn't really save me any time. So get rid of this, and I think we just need to rename this to block state. If this doesn't work, I'm going to just go hunt down a mod that I know is already in 1.8 and see what it does. That would be the quickest uh, way to do this. So he's always tell people, go on GitHub when you want to learn how to do modding or do anything. Because even if uh, somebody's code on GitHub is not open source, it still can be viewed. And you can still sit there and learn and understand what that developer was doing to make his code function. Uh, so we got block states here, so we're going to go ahead and run this. Which, by the way, uh, for those who ask, um, 
all my repositories are visible source. They're not open source, which what I mean by visible source, you guys are free to learn from like my code anytime you want. You're free to use it for educational purposes. So if you have a class and you need to learn how to use code, uh, you're welcome to take and use my code for prototyping. Uh, you are not allowed to copy it and you're not allowed to cheat because uh, your guys' own uh, academic policy will probably have policies against cheating. The last thing I need to do is be accused of facilitating cheating for a third time. I've been accused twice now, so and actually once I actually was committed of it too, so yeah, I don't want that to happen again. Uh, I'll probably do another story on that one, but that one was basically, I didn't do anything wrong, but at the same time I, I done goofed, where I had left code up on GitHub that was uh, for college resources. Um, that didn't work either. No, wait, it did work. It can't find inventory. You know what we're going to do real quick? Um, find a Minecraft copy real quick. So, if we pop out to here, there should be, in some one of these folders, a raw Minecraft copy. And I'm not seeing it. Actually, we're probably going to have to go to Minecraft itself. So, net Minecraft. 1.8. And let's open this with 7-zip and pull the assets out of it. So we want this. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go... Yeah, I guess we'll just go here. Okay, so I have an asset folder already here. So what I'm going to actually do is make another folder called Minecraft Assets. To be honest, I probably should move everything into a Minecraft folder here eventually. So that way um, I don't have any more problems. We're going to go ahead and we're going to rename this. 1.7.10. That way I can then do this. I can pull this guy out and I have a copy of the 1.8 assets, which should include the block states with it. So I can sit there and look at the block states. I probably won't need to do it for any of the versions after this, unless I run into a situation where I need something like an AI script or something. But it's always a good idea to keep maybe some assets on hand. The reason I do this, I always come back through here and I'm always doing stuff. Also, I keep things like other people's mods assets in here. If I support somebody else's mod, there's a high likelihood I have their assets on my computer as well. Okay, so block states, um, we want an item. Carry that'll work. So it has some variants. I wonder how these are implemented, actually. So it has a model called carrot stage one. Okay, this is a block, actually. Is this a clay block? Model.clay. Is there actually a models folder? There is a models folder. Okay, so I'm going to need a model folder and then I'm going to need a block state. So let's hit uh, Control Z on here. So undo. Yes, undo. Control Z, undo. So I actually do need a models directory and is um, and there is an item directory. So we do still need that models folder. What we do need is that we do need a block state folder because apparently we're going to have to define what our block states are, which is weird. Um, let's try to find... Let's try to find one in here I know is absolutely an item. Cool block, cool ore, coarse dirt. There's a dropper. I feel like a lot of this stuff is uh, is just blocks. I feel like there's something I'm doing wrong here because there's torch. We actually will need this later. I I don't understand what's going on here. Um, So we got an arrow here. <laughs> Items on arrows. We don't want any display stuff. So we need to go back to block states and we need to sit there and see if we can find arrow. No, there's nothing there. So why is it requesting us to have a block state system? Um, so let's... Uh, Let's just Google this real quick, because that's going to be the quickest uh, result possible. So we'll go uh, Minecraft 1.8 um, item icons. Old 
Minecraft one eight item comments. No, that's somebody asking for resource pack, I think. Uh, let's, let's put modding in the name here. Okay, so let's do this, guys, because I've been through his tutorials a few times here. Is this for, yep, 1-8, basic first item? His tutorials are actually pretty good. They'll get you started if you ever want to learn how to mod. Because he he has the same tutorial for every Minecraft version. At least every Minecraft version since he started. Uh, so register item, yeah. By the way, you know, for like as long as I've been coding, I never knew you could do this. I only learned this uh, like two years ago where you can actually set something and pass it in at the same exact time. I don't know what, what Java version I was adding in, but it's really cool. Um, so, Minecraft, get Minecraft, get render item, get item model measure. And you can add a new model resource location. First the item, then the metadata. We don't we aren't working with metadata, so that's not very useful. Because this is the same stuff I've seen for all his other tutorials. Um, so you got a model file. I want to say this stuff is optional. If it's not, we'll come back to it. Yeah, because here here's the stuff he's got too. You can do this. But he doesn't have MBT items in here, is what I'm looking for. Registering a model file. Yeah, we are missing a little bit here. I wonder if I'm getting some echoing back here from uh, my speakers. Let's go ahead and turn that down, just in case that is causing a problem. The microphone went down just a little bit. Apologies if it's been echoing for a while. Nothing I can do about that now. So we do have this right here. So that's, I mean, that's what we're already kind of doing. But why is it asking us for a block stamp? Does he not have... Let's try block states and metadata. See if this includes something about items. The metadata of an item is stored in the item damage value and is normally used to save the durability. Because if metadata uses this value, they cannot have damage value. So you, you can't make a pickaxe that are damageable with metadata. The metadata are stored. Yeah, whatever. Um, uh huh. Yeah, enums. Yeah, doing blocks is going to be a little bit of annoyance just because of the enums. I have a solution for that already. There's item blocks, block properties, block properties, block mod block, block property vial. Okay. That's cool. Creating a dynamic property, get actual state. Um, get actual state. So this is okay. That's in the block itself. Metadata for items. So this is what we we're looking for. And this is doing that same system earlier. I need MBT. This this is a problem. Okay. So we're gonna have to do something like this. MBT icons. One eight set an icon specific. Oh, okay, here this might work. I'm going to go ahead and do is end this video and I'm going to read all through this and we'll be back in the next class and hopefully I'll figure this out.